What's up guys, Simply Coco here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to an apartment renovation here in The Sims 4. So today we are renovating the 17 Culpepper House apartment in San Myshuno. Um, the address is in the top left hand side of the screen so if you want to place it in your game that's where it goes and I also just said it. <laughs> but uh, uh, as you can tell by the title, we are building a cat lover's apartment. So at first I was juggling around with different titles for this. I was thinking like crazy cat lady or crazy old cat lady or old cat lady or something like that. But I kind of came to the conclusion that I didn't necessarily want this person to be an old lady. Like an, I, I wouldn't imagine this being an elder sim. I would imagine this being just your kind of average everyday like Karen. <laughs> Um, sorry if your name is Karen. I don't mean it in, I, I don't, no offense. I'm sorry. But, um, she's not like, she's not crazy though. She's just, you know, living her life. But I imagine she would be, um, like in her fifties or sixties. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't say fifties and sixties is an elder. I would say you're not in, I would say you're not an elder till 70. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but maybe late 50s. This woman is in her late 50s. She's single. Um, maybe she has kids, but they're not around anymore. So she's just living by herself in an apartment in San Myshuno because after her divorce, after her divorce with her no good cheating husband, she didn't need to live in a big old house. So she just moved here and she, you know, something happened and she became obsessed with cats and now she has eight cats which is why um no not eight cats seven cats which is why i put seven um uh, food bowls down on the ground just a minute ago um you just saw me kind of furnish up the living room area nothing crazy i'm just i'm going for a very like eclectic style with this build um so not one particular style it's just a whole bunch of different things like that nifty knitting side chair is like mid-century modern and that couch is looking really dingy and um but it's like a classic couch and then yeah i mean modern desk chair modern desk uh random bookshelf a nice uh a nice end table like she just kind of <clears throat> got things you know as she found them not really going in really trying to just really really decorate this apartment to the to the tens um especially since you know she's older in life now and she's not really worried about you know what it looks like but she does keep it clean like i didn't want this to be a cat lady's apartment where the apartment is just gross and there's pee all over the floor and and poop all over the floor and scratches all over the walls and piss all over the walls from the male cats. Um, I didn't imagine that. Imagine, yeah, this being that kind of build. So it's it's very clean in here. Very eclectic style, like I said. Um, yeah, so we're just cluttering up the kitchen. There's two cat trees in here. There's one big one that I... I I've never played with uh, cat trees in the game, so I don't know if multiple cats can get on that cat tree at one time. But um, there's a big one there, and then there's a little one right here next to the desk. And then this is a two-bedroom apartment, so one of the rooms is going to be turned into a cat's room. So all the cats get their own room. They don't all get their own bed. I think I put a total of three uh, small beds in this build just because... Oh my goodness, sorry. If you heard the dogs literally just having a, a freaking running marathon up the stairs. But um, cats are small in, you know, in real life and in The Sims. And they pretty much sleep any, anywhere. I'm pretty sure if my cat wasn't terrorizing the dogs right now, he'd be asleep somewhere just in some nook and cranny somewhere that makes no sense. So, you know, I put, th like I was saying, I put three small beds in here but the cats will sleep anywhere um this is the entrance way um so nothing crazy i just put a hallway table and then trying to figure out what i want to put over here in the corner i was messing around with this seasons object 
or is that laundry day? That might be a laundry day object. But then I wanted to put a chair, and so just stuff wasn't fitting. Uh, I don't remember what I did, though. Yeah, I got, yeah, okay. I got rid of the chair because the chair didn't make sense. Like, why would she just randomly come and sit in the entranceway of her home? <laughs> so I left the laundry day kind of coat rack and then put some shoes and now just some wall deco. And yeah, so what am I doing? Oh, I'm just cluttering up the top of this shelf. I'm using the nine key to raise things up because uh, for whatever reason, that empty ass shelf doesn't have snap points. Excuse my language. And here's the cat's room. So um, yes, we popped in here and there was already a cat tree. Um, there, I think there's two big cat trees in the game and that's the second one in a pink and blue color. Uh, pink and blue was kind of the theme of this entire build. And now that I think of it, pink and blue is the theme of my next build. I mean, I didn't even think of that. My next build is also going to be an apartment renovation. And I won't say what it is just yet because I'll say it. It's going to be an apartment for twin mermaids. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I started it today the day I'm recording this and I really thought I was going to finish it but I had to go to the grocery store and then cook myself some dinner and all of that so I didn't get to finish it I did put vacuum so uh, I put this pink one in the cat's room so she could clean up and then I put a handheld one on that uh, cats and dogs shelf in the kitchen um, obviously your sim doesn't reach up or won't reach up and get that so you would have to drag it into your sims inventory for them to use it and I want it wall decorations in here so i put this painting or picture from cats and dogs because it has a cat on it and <laughs> maybe that's her dad and that was maybe her dad was a salesman or a fisherman and he had a cat and maybe um when she was little she would go on that the dad's boat and visit with the cat and play with the cat and maybe after her divorce she kind of revisited you know her childhood and her thoughts and she would thought about the cat and was like oh i really want a cat so she got a cat and then kept getting cats and now she has seven <laughs> but anyway uh the only other thing i put in the cat's room is a uh, couch that came with movie hangout stuff so that she can sit in there and relax with the cats maybe even go and take a nap on that couch if she feels like it and just go and pet them and all of that and here's her bedroom um nothing crazy i'm not sure where this bed this bed may be from cats and dogs so as you can imagine i used a lot of cats and dogs in this build so if you don't have cats and dogs this might be difficult for you to download um but as always, and I've said this in several of my speed builds lately, if there is any pack restricted builds you want me to do, just leave down in the comments what what packs you want me to use in a pack restricted build, and I will do that for you. Um, so yeah, just leave that down in the comments. And oh my goodness, sorry, <laughs> that was literally probably too long of a pause, but I'm not gonna cut it out because. Um, I'm almost done with the speed build. The speed build's almost done. Literally, the screenshots are going to be rolling here in just a second. But the the animals are literally acting crazy. <laughs> Why do I have two dogs and a cat? I don't know. I should have stopped at the one dog. <laughs> but here we are, and we love them. Yes, we do. Enough about them, though. <laughs> um, yeah, if you, if you ever want me to do a pack-restricted build, just leave down in the comments what packs you want me to use, and I will definitely... Uh, work on that for you um, other than that I have some collabs in the works so I can't wait for you guys to see that thanks again for a thousand subscribers let's get more um, follow my socials they're all down in the description and if you're not uh, subscribed to me yet please do so hit that subscribe button join the fam uh, right now I'm just cluttering up the kitchen and that's it guys so the screenshots are rolling thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I will always respond to your comments and please hit that notification bell that way you know exactly when i post my next video exactly when i post it and i will see you all then bye guys